Swift reaction pouring in from Washington following Hamas's surprise attack on Israel. The assault comes as the region had been working to broker a peace deal with one of its neighbors, and some on Capitol Hill believe that's not a coincidence. Fox's Lucas Tomlinson has more from outside the White House. Speaking at the White House, President Biden pledged the full support of the United States and issued the following warning. Let me say this as clearly as I can. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The world is watching, and let there be no mistake, the United States stands with the state of Israel. Fox's Brett Baer recently interviewed Saudi Arabia's crown prince, the de facto ruler of the country. He asked him how close Saudi was to recognizing Israel and establishing full diplomatic relations. Then, just a few days later, he asked Israel's prime minister the same question. So you think, if you were to characterize it, are you close? Every day we get closer. It seems it's for the first time uh, a real one, serious. We gotta see how it goes. You know, we just got back for, from Riyadh. I know you heard those words from the Saudi Crown Prince. What was your response? Well, I was delighted to hear what he had to say and to, to borrow a phrase, I think we're getting closer to peace every day that passes. Senator Tom Cotton said crushing this potential peace deal is exactly why Hamas launched its attacks. This war is a transparent attempt by Iran to derail the peace talks between Israel and Saudi Arabia. The United States should provide Israel the military and diplomatic support it needs to destroy Hamas. And the Biden administration should cease all engagement with Iran. Former Defense Secretary Mark Esper called Hamas's attack on Israel an intelligence failure. At the White House, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News. And tonight, the Houston Police Department sending out a post from X, formerly known as Twitter, saying, quote, in the wake of attacks overnight and today in Israel, we will increase our presence and visibility around religious institutions. And we here at Fox 26 will continue to monitor this developing story on the air and on our website, fox26houston.com. To stay up to date with the latest developments in Israel, head over to our Fox 26 app and again on our website at fox26houston.com. We will make sure to keep you up to date.